right? First of all, most of them say, Oh, I am praise be Titi Ahawa by Shemel Shai, by Shemel Kakodash, that one is unto the apostles and elders a great most on the shadow one to the sincere and let that they're teaching this truth and faith and sincerity. Um, quick point I want to um, speak on is the simple and plain to the point. Your genealogy, right? Your actual lineage, right, is based upon men. It's totally based upon the seed of your father, man. Because of course you have these so-called, you know, fake Jews, right, who um try abs their absolute hardest to say actually my mother's you know a jew so i'm a jew which isn't which which is stupid it's it isn't according to the scriptures whether you're a jew right or whether you're of the tribe of benjamin or or or, or of levite it's totally established on men because the actual tribe that is called after is after actual um, man in order to be of the tribe of Judah you have to go back to the seed of the man named Judah in whom his seed became a people a tribe you know and and the first scripture I'm gonna read here is numbers chapter 1 and 18 and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their families by their house or their fathers according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upwards by their their poles now if you go to the word pedigree it says to bear to, to beget to birth right uh, to, to be born right now if you go to the word um, of, 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 of uh, if you go to, to the word uh, family right it says family tribe people and nation right now it says a family or tribe right if a person is from the tribe of judah how is he a part of the tribe of judah because his seed from his father's line goes back to the man judah because the actual originator the progenitor of that tribe was a man so in order to, to, to be a part of that tribe you have to go back to that same man through your father's line it's simple and plain to the point if your father is of the tribe of 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 of, of Reuben and your mum is of the tribe of Judah right you're of the tribe of Judah if your father is of the tribe of Judah and your mother right is an Edomite of the tribe of um, Amalek right that means you are still a you are still a part of the 12 tribes of Israel man it's simple and plain to the point a people a tribe yeah is, is, is established upon men like it's even us man every people of the 12 tribes of, of Israel through men were given an inheritance of land but surely a, a certain tribe and, and, and people right established on men could only inherit certain uh, uh, lands right 
Meaning, if you were the tribe of Reuben, you can't inherit the um, land of the, of the tribe of Judah because you, your seed through your father's line, going back to um, to, 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 to those men, didn't inherit that land. It's simple and plain to the point. This is um, Genesis chapter ten. Now it says, Now these are the generations of the sons of, of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. Right? So now if you go into the word uh, generations, right? It says, Descendants, uh, uh account of men and their descendants an account of men so a g it says a genealogical list of one's descendants that's the same thing of what uh, 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 of an account of men and their descendants straight up right so that's why it says what now these are the generations right the descendants of who the sons of Noah right and unto them were sons born after the flood now if you skip to the very last end of this this chapter it says in verse verse 32 these are the, are the families of the sons of Noah after their generations in their nations because guess what after the flood through him and his three sons all group of people upon this pla face of this planet go back to the three sons of or, or three sons of Noah at a time in history right and through his three sons were the nations of this planet populated by right ham shem and a Japheth man right the Hamites right come from ham you who is a man right that's their the their tribe but then obviously you know in ham itself you you've got different tribes of ham you have the Canaanites, Cushites, Put, Lord, you know, Mezra, you know, Japheth, you know, have have their their um, their um, own, own own people as well in tribes, you know, they have what Meshach. Yavan and so on and stuff like that. That's their own, own you know, uh, uh, tribes. But those tribes it, it were established upon men. And even going back to to the point, you know, in terms of the twelve tribes of Israel, uh, them inheriting uh, their own lands. Every tribe, which was which was based upon men, inherited land based upon their father's line it wasn't upon the line of 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 of, 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 of their mother right because that's how uh, inheritance just gets all it, it just gets all fucked up man this is a uh, joshua uh 15 and 20 this is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of, of judah now if you go to the word children children it's a bun right which says a son as a builder of the family name in the widest sense of literal and figurative relationship including a grandson a subject nation right so 
a son is what a is what a like a, like, like a builder of, of of a family name. He adds to the to the tree of 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 of, of, of that whole 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 family tree. Uh, an actual son is like a, a branch to, to the whole family tree, and every branch is 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 is, is every man of that family, and he obviously gets a gets a um, uh, um gets a, a, a like a like a wife right has kids and and then his son's sons keep adding to his personal uh tree so a son is is, is what as a builder of the family name right but then it says what including a, a grandson but if you go ahead grandson and what a nation because a people a tongue a, a people and nation was was established upon men so you know you um so called you know jews you try and say well i'm a jew because my, 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 my mother's a jew dying according to the scriptures because because the quick question to ask you what exactly does the term Jew go back to? It goes to the man whose name is Judah and his seed through his sons, right? He, he became a tribe through his sons, right? And they called themselves after him, the tribe of Judah, right? This is a. Uh, this is, um, Genesis 29 and, and 35 and she conceived again and bare a son and she and, and she said now will I praise yeah how about Shimei Shai right therefore she called his name Judah right now he himself was what actual man upon the earth right but the point is here is, is what that these people were uh, able to, to inherit certain lands of Judah because why they were of the tribe of the children sons of Judah so a tribe where you come from you know your genealogy is established upon men it's simple this is a Genesis uh, 12 and 1 now the Lord said unto Abram get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing See, 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 see Abraham, right? He had, he had a what? He had eight sons in total. In, in, in total, he had um, Isaac and Ishmael, and six sons of Keturah. Uh, but that that great seed and the nation that came from him is through Isaac and and unto. Jacob man and onto the 12 tribes of Israel but, 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 but he said but of him of him himself he will make a great nation that shows what a nation is established upon men right this is a uh, Genesis 17 and 20 and as for Ishmael I have heard thee and behold I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and mu and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, which means to, to basically born, right? And it says, and I will make him a great nation. Let me read that again on Ishmael. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he 
forget and I will make him a great nation. So don't you have something according to the scriptures called as the uh, Ishmaelites, right? So the Ishmaelites are people who go back to the man of Ishmael through his seed because his wife Ishmael's wife I believe was an Egyptian man Ishmael's wife you know was what an Egyptian you know so are you now saying well because his wife is an Egyptian he means his sons were all Egyptian because they're their full grand they're great you know that they're, they're they're that through you know through 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 some bullshit you know it just means they're 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 all Egyptian because his wife is Egyptian it, it don't make sense you are an Ishmaelite based upon your father's line you are an Edomite you're based upon your father's line you are an Israelite based upon your father's line what, what are the 12 tribes of Israel the 12 tribes of Israel are the people who go back to, to, the, to, to, the, to the man the man of Israel right Whose, whose, whose first name was Jacob and it got changed into Israel right and he and he, he, he had sons and, 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 and grandsons man you know and through the um, spirit you know the, 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 the tribes got got, us, uh, got, us, uh, got established man and through those 12 sons you know through 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 his sons and his two grandsons being um uh, Ephraim and uh, uh Manasseh you know they became the the uh, the forefathers of the 12 tribes of Israel man and in fact so we actually have kings in in history of Israel who's 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 mother's line were heathen but they still sat upon upon the throne as a king of Israel because guess what the seed of their father established what they was their line and genealogy not the seed of not the line of of, of his mom this is a first king kings are uh, uh, 14 and 31 right and I believe Rehoboam was the son of King, king Solomon right I believe it's gonna sound like yeah 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 he says first Kings 14 and 35 I oh, know 31 sorry and Rehoboam slept with his fathers right and was buried with his father with his fathers in the city of David and his mother's name was Naama right and Ammonitus and Abijam his son reigned in his stead let me read that again and Rehoboam slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David and his his mother's name was Naama and Ammonitus and Abijam his son reigned in his stead so let's see who Rehoboam was an Israelite king right son of Solomon and the first king of Judah after the split up of the kingdom of Israel so after the split he was the first king of Judah but he was of the tribe of Judah because his father was of the tribe of Judah even though his his mother was what an Ammonitus which is what a woman of Ammon which 
are not Hebrew Israelites. So he, in this case, was what? A Jew. He was a Jew, but what, what, how, how was he a Jew? Because his mom clearly wasn't a Jew. So how was he a Jew? He was a Jew because his, because why? His father, King Solomon, was a Jew. That's how you were a Jew. That's how you were Israelite. That's how you are. You are an Ishmaelite. That's how you are an Edomite. On your father's line. Alright, this is um, Matthew chapter one, which which I'm not gonna read the whole thing. But if you, if you read, read if you read this this whole chapter, it says I'm read the first verse. The book of the generation of Yahushai Hamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Which you know, if you have understanding, you understand what that's talking about. And Abraham began Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judah, and his uh, brethren. Right? But then if you skip down for every verse, it says, even to go to verse 10, and Ezekiel begat Manasses, Manasses begat Ammon. So, and, and, and if you skip, all the way to verse verse to, 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 uh, verse 16 and it says and Jacob begat Joseph the husband of Mary of whom was born how was shy who's called Christ which actually this verse actually even proves that Joseph was the bi bi biological father of the one people people even called Jesus Christ because his son himself was was clearly quoted as being the carpenter's son and he himself, he was, he, was, he was a Jew, right? You, you, you know, because he was a Jew, man. Through, through his father's land, they wouldn't even have even let you to even, you know, come in the temple and take part in certain, certain, you know, certain acts and services in the temple if they couldn't identify who, 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 who your father was, which is in a, a um, isn't. Ezra's, you know, you had you had certain um, certain certain priest, right? Certain high priest, right? Couldn't execute the office because they they actually couldn't prove that they were of the you know the 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 uh, sons of 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 um Aaron, man. Right, so even see that see that there is an example of that. You, you actually had certain priest who actually he weren't let to actually take part in the, the offices of a high priest because they couldn't prove who the fathers see what. Right, but if you read this whole chapter of, of the first chapter in Matthew, it gives all the men in a genealogy of the. Lord himself right so that's that's basically the point but then to this point this even comes on to, 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 to uh, on on to you um Edomites man if you go back to the seed of Esau for your father's land you, you, you're gonna be destroyed man this is um Genesis uh, 36 and 8 thus Esau dwelt in Mount Seir Esau is Edom so all those who are Edom are of Esau all those who are of Esau are of Edom because it's the same thing you know one you know uh, this is a uh, Abadiah 18 and the house of Jacob so what's the, the house of Jacob you know, it's, 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 it's a family, you know, based upon men. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau, the men, the people, those who go back to the seed of Esau, for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall none be any remaining of the house of Esau. 
the seed of Esau, the lineage of Esau, the family of Esau, for the Lord have spoken it. So, so you, 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 you damn fake Jews trying to say, oh, you know, like, no, my father's like, no, nah, nigga. If your seed goes back to the seed of Esau, you're going to slavery and you'll be destroyed after slavery. If, if your seed is of the seed of the 12 tribes of Israel, you are ultimately going to inherit the birthright and 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 and, and promises and and, and 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 blessings starting off with those who have the elect so with that i'm gonna say all honor and praise be to you i'm not shy double honors unto the apostles and elders of great most honor with that i'm gonna say